This is Sunday afternoon. I'm a Sai, hired man in a purple tie and some bright yellow buckskin gloves, very red and shaved, has just driven off with Carrie, hired girl, in a big hat trimmed with red roses and a blue muslin dress and her hair curled as tight as it will curl. I'm a Sai spent all the morning washing the buggy. And Carrie stayed home from church ostensibly to cook the dinner, but really to iron the muslin dress. In two minutes more, when this letter is finished, I am going to settle down to a book which I found in the attic. It's entitled On the Trail and sprawled across the front page in a funny little boy hand. Jervis Pendleton, if this book should ever roam, box its ears and send it home. He spent the summer here once after he had been ill, when he was about 11 years old, and he left on the trail behind. It looks well read, the marks of his grimy little hands are frequent. Also in a corner of the attic, there is a water wheel and a windmill and some bows and arrows. Mrs. Sample talks so constantly about him that I begin to believe he really leaves, not a grown man with a silk hat and walking stick, but a nice, dirty, tousle-headed boy who clatters up the stairs with an awful racket and leaves the screen doors open and is always asking for cookies. And getting them too, if I know Mrs. Sample. He seems to have been an adventurous little soul and brave and truthful. I'm sorry to think he is a Pendleton. He was meant for something better.